It's always fun when you get to talk about music. Arrow.net. A-R-R-O-E dot net. All right, let's do it. Let's play it forward. These are real people, real stories, the struggle to play it forward. Episode number 479 is with the drummer of Hootie and the Blowfish, Mr. Jim Sonyfeld. Well, I'm showing my age, 57. <laughs> I can't even last an hour and a half without having to pee. <laughs> hey, I got to tell you what, I really love this this collection of music. This is right up my alley. I, I, I'm at Elevation Church, and, and I understand worship music. And my God, you bring the word, sir. Well, I have certainly become inspired through the years. 2010, I started making a turn and thought, I'm going to really be bold here and, and sing about some things I've never sung about specifically. And I've enjoyed that development. And it wasn't natural to me necessarily at the beginning, but uh, I got over some of the fear and I'm continuing to enjoy just bringing a positive message. Don't you love the way that the way the, the lyrics come to you when, when you least expect it and you're going, oh, my God, I'm being used as the tool. Now I've got to get it out there and plant it in the field so other people can grow. I think I would have been happy uh, having the lyric come to me, sitting in my living room on the piano, composing and never having to get out in front of people. But I, I got an invite one time to, to, to give my testimony and to sing a few of those original songs. And I had never heard about this group called Celebrate Recovery, where I could go and sing about the joys that I've been given. And uh, it was it was opened a big door for me. Let's talk about that song, Unafraid. I mean, like, like you said, you know, you know, coming out and being out there in the front. I mean, because you're used to being back there on those drums. But with, with you on this song, I mean, you you are in control of what's being shared. Uh, thank you. I co-wrote that with uh, another Christian writer and, and uh, country writer, Brian White, and my buddy Matt Houston. And I wanted to say... Like just, I wanted to, to kind of be an anthem, like a little get up and fight and say, I'm not going to let the world keep beating me down. I'm I'm, I'm going to be fearless here for a moment and and stand up and and do what I am empowered to do. And so unafraid is saying I'm not going to be that anymore. And I I love playing that song live, man. I'm first time I ever played it. Last year, I, I got a, some people hooting in the audience. There's a little <laughs> little audience full of people, and I heard I hit that chorus, and they're like, "Woo!" I was like, "All right." <laughs> well, isn't it to to record music like this? Isn't it part of the relationship that we're we're basically being called to? You know, break down the four walls of the church to get out there on the streets to sing the language of the street in in a way that they can say, "Woo!" Yeah, I mean, I, I uh, my journey is I think best expressed in my actions. Mm -hmm. So when I am uh, writing it, it's a meditation to a, a positive spirit. And when I'm mm -hmm. singing it, it's an action to go out and say, I'm so grateful. I just going to stand out here and sing this thing. I don't <laughs> care if you pay me or if you stare at me with a head scratching, but I'm going to do it because it's been my experience and someone shared it with me at some point. I feel called to, to share it again. The song Jesus is a song that I, I, I put into the category of what I call frequency music. In other words, it gets inside my mind and it allows me to go into like a, a state of meditation or into to where I can release myself. Well, that's a good one. I, it's a it's a little more intimate feeling. One of the first songs I ever wrote as, as, uh, in that category. And I, I you know, boy, it, it's a meditation. That one's like a, a quiet and a little, nice little flow to it. And it almost uh, never saw the light of day. It was one of the first I wrote in the 2010, 2011. And it's lasted that long at the piano and finally uh, unearthed itself. <laughs> Onto a CD. I, I was going to ask you if, if the music came to you while you were writing your book, but, but when you're saying like 2011, I mean, that you've really carried these songs for a while then. Some were written that early. Uh, I started the book at the end of 2017, and by 2018, we were writing a new Hootie album. And so some of these songs came as a result of attempting to uh, bring songs to Hootie. Uh, the song... I see heaven on earth as an example of one that I really loved, but it didn't have an appropriate feel for a Hootie release. Yeah. So uh, you keep it as your own and then it becomes uh, something more specific. And uh, the song uh, Good to Get Back, for instance, I thought, yeah, I'll write the song with the band in mind. Again, it just didn't uh, make the cut, but the message is hopeful, positive and 
that's where I like to stay. That's my lane. Where did you have to go mentally in order to release the music? Because even I, I host uh, several different podcasts that really, you know, take it to the God level as well as the inspirational level. But dude, it took me a long time to say, okay, this is this is what I'm going to be doing. Yeah, I I was writing my first EP, which was called Found, and it's a five song EP, and re- enjoyed producing it, and I was learning wow, I actually can sing a little bit. I had a little bit of confidence, but not much. And then I got an invitation to go play it. And I'm like, well, wait, I have to do this in front of people. <laughs> I, 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 I can do it here at home and in the studio, but I really got to go out in front of people I don't know and say, I love Jesus. Uh, that was a, uh, a come to Jesus moment, if you will. <laughs> well, the song "I See Heaven on Earth." You, you have th- this sounds like one of those come to Jesus meetings too, because I mean, a long cold winter in the dark. Uh, I know what those nights are about. I'm from originally from Montana. <laughs> it's coming out of a spiritual or even a physical state of darkness where that your life is frustrating. It's yep. secrets. For me, it was addiction. It was the darkness of uh, that just you know you're not doing it right and and that's a hard period so yeah i want it's coming into spring it's saying i'm going to flower like a flower i'm going to become something that is uh authentic and uh outward and you know rooted in love and humility and i just wanted to sing that that and also it's uh, sort of it's a statement to say be careful getting caught in the 24-hour news cycle. (laughs) There is a lot of exciting things there, no doubt, but, you know, the heaven that we talk about being available, I think we can have it here if we start finding those things. There's beautiful miracles happening every day. Why are we talking about those? You know, faith-based faith based movies have changed uh, since the, when they first started out. And I think that faith music has changed as well. And you're, you're definitely showing your leadership in this and bringing it out. And, and being from the South here, I mean, that, that, that's part of our soul as well as our soil is that you, you bring forward the energy of, of this, the creative energy. Yeah, I, I find that uh, there's a lot of people that are doing what I'm doing and, and that have come before me. Mm-hmm. And so there's a high bar of, of people that have just done it so well to get the message out there. And um, I just know the intimate groups I get to go in front of and, and talk <laughs> about my faith. It, that's what's, that's my journey. That's what it's meant to be. I, I, there was a time I dreamed of filling coliseums with 20,000 people like Chris Tomlin has done and casting crowns. And I realized, you know what? That's just not my journey, and I'm going to do it this way and be thankful for it. Well, yeah, because, I mean, you, you make that connection even with the song Bow to Him. I mean, there's there's such a, a – there's an edge to it, but at the same time – and, and I, I feel like there's an EDM edge to it, but but you're, you're getting inside my thinking process. The ideas and the principles that I write about are quite common. You know, I, uh, theology aside – uh, you know, the ideas of love and, and tolerance and kindness and gentleness uh, and self-examination, you know, self-honesty, these are uh, common for any man. And, and, and a lot of us that suffer deeply, either in addiction or other uh, the areas, uh, need to realize that there's answers. You know, there's answers right in front of us if we're if we're honest and open minded and a little willing. Well, I'm a firm believer that creativity is also an addiction and it's one of those addictions that people try to run away from, but they have no place to go. But you sit down with this with this collection of music, you, you're going to you're going to really kind of look at your creativity through different eyes. Yeah, it's uh, it's a, another thing in life we we have to balance. I've been you know raising a family here with my wife and that has had to be the most important thing. And while there are times where I want to zip out and go sing to the world, I need to realize my creative creativity is a a great thing for me, but I also have to balance it. Yep. 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 So what's next, man? Are are you going to do small little venues or anything like that? Are we going to see you in a church like elevation? I get to go around and, and, and do a couple different things. I'm still creating what I think might be a fun show uh, for a lot of people, which so I get to uh, go to recovery groups. I can Good. do some church gigs. I've also been visiting a bunch of bookstores because I can go there with my acoustic guitar, give a general message of hope and transformation, lure people to the book and to the EP. Yep. 
have some interaction, which is important to me, Q&A. To, people have great questions and great stories and their own tie-ins to the Hootie story. So, you know, I'm going up to Raleigh uh, soon. And I'll be up there talking to Celebrate Recovery, and I'll be doing a bookstore event, uh, going down to the coast down there. And, and obviously, the southeast is where a lot of uh, us started in the band, so I, I got some good ties to yep. some uh, – communities here that i'm going to stick to and hopefully uh, uh maybe elevation elevation church will call me one day too absolutely <laughs> they, they bring it they've got a campus here in columbia south carolina we've attended and it's uh it's brilliant absolutely well please come back to this show anytime in the future dude i mean we're carolinians we we, we hang we, we we share each other's stories and we we help you know build things well, I'd be uh, proud to be a guest anytime you know where to find me absolutely well you be brilliant today okay sir Thank you. Have a blessed day.